I'm gonna do it again a little bit different this time five uh, sweet Italian sausages going in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 25 minutes don't forget to flip your sausages you, it's very important to flip your sausages sausages are almost done and this time I'm gonna heat up my sauce before I add it um, yeah this might not be your brand you may hate it you may like another brand better this is the cheapest <laughs> the cheapest that I enjoy anyway um, I, I'm not a big fan of chunky tomato sauces unless there's meat in it I'm gonna make this chunky so I'm gonna go ahead and do one and a half cans of this uh, garlic and herb pasta sauce. Sausages are done. Time to slice them up and put them in the pasta sauce. Water is boiling ready for the spaghetti. This time I'm going to do about a third as much as I did last time. So, um, I don't know, that's like six ounces. I don't know. Well, maybe. Yeah, about a third. Spaghetti is cooking, it's time to do the egg, uh, parmesan, romano, parmesan, whatever, and milk combination for the spaghetti. powder Italian seasoning and this time I'm adding some crushed red peppers because I like crushed red peppers if you're making this home do whatever you want <laughs> you're the one who's got to eat it now we're putting the spaghetti in the casserole dish this time I'm using a lot less spaghetti and only doing the one casserole dish. Yeah, get all those stray pieces of spaghetti in there. Alright. Now I am adding the egg, milk, and parmesan mixture. The, uh, and I'm using a lot more of this, like double because I am only doing one uh, one casserole dish instead of two and what I'm going to do is mix this around in there and make sure all of the spaghetti is coated the idea behind this egg mixture with the cheese is to create a solid base a crust if you will um, for the uh, for everything that else that's going to go on here. Now I need some ricotta cheese and if you like cottage cheese better go for it. I personally, my own opinion, I do not think cottage cheese is a suitable substitute for ricotta cheese but hey it's just my taste bud. So now I'm going to add some of this on top. 
Ricotta is done. Now it is time for the pasta sauce with the Italian sausage. Top it with cheese and away you go. And about a half an hour later, it bubbled over a little bit. Yeah, but uh, I had some protection underneath it, so no harm, no foul. And I'm going to let it cool down, and then I'll dig in. mushrooms this time all I had was the Italian sausage and yeah let that cool down and I'm gonna dig in halfway through my plate I would say that is better than last time uh, much juicier so to speak even without the mushroom and pepperoni the sausage kind of takes over so that's a new taste and yeah I like it I'll I'll be doing leftovers probably with some uh, green beans and if I make it to a store some garlic bread good show leftovers are very important I'm gonna get like six meals out of this and that's um, yeah that's a frugal meal I'll be I'll be doing some green beans and if I had some bread or something I do garlic toast or something like that but yeah this will do with some green beans and this is how it looks before I reheat it and yeah great taste down there and alright I'll give a review on the leftovers later alright time for some brunch yeah a nice piece of garlic toast or garlic bread or something like that would go well but hey you do what you can with what you got another cooking video already and it's the same thing that I cooked the first time. Uh, I'm sorry about that, folks. You ever get one of those uh, grooves of, you know, you want to make a dish better than you, you had just made it, and you kind of have the craving, kind of a craving groove for, for me. It was baked spaghetti. You ever get those? I hear pregnant women get them, but I've, I have no experience around pregnant women to know how that works. But yeah, baked spaghetti. I had uh, I had to do it better with uh, with more pasta sauce this time, and it was better with more pasta sauce this time. I just wish I had the pepperoni and the mushrooms to put in there with it. But yeah, this one turned out much better. I really like that um, it forms like a solid base. The the spaghetti and the egg mixture and so you can just you know slice it up after you put it in the fridge for leftovers slice it up with a butter knife and reheat it in a microwave I re uh, mine's not set up yet I reheated mine in the oven I almost kind of prefer that for stuff like this anyway and yeah I added some green beans and uh, peas and carrots never got around to garlic toast or garlic bread but uh, yeah, that, there's a reason for me to make it again in the future so I can do it all upright. But, and I'm not, I'm not here to say that's the best thing, everybody should do it. I'm not here to say it's healthy and everybody should be eating it. And I'm just showing you what I'm doing uh, as I start to enjoy my, my new kitchen and all of the, uh, the wonderful things, including the dishwasher which I'll have to talk about that more in the future. But yeah, just kind of sharing what I'm doing. I think that's a, it's a good meal. If you want to go healthier, which I would like to try, um, uh, using zucchini noodles instead of the spaghetti, I wouldn't mind trying that. Spaghetti squash would be interesting, although I think that with the egg mixture would, I don't know how that would turn out. I'd be willing to try it. But, uh, you know, the thing about zucchini and squash is it's more expensive to buy than the spaghetti. So this is, yeah, that's, that's my frugal meal. And even the Italian sausage, you know, I was splurging on the Italian sausage for that. Typically in the past what I would use is the smoked sausage. 
you get those, you know, 14 packs of smoked sausage for like five bucks. That's usually what I use because frugal. And uh, uh, so yeah, I'd say that was even with the Italian sausage, that was less than 10 bucks. And the ricotta cheese, that I usually don't splurge on that either. But it was less than 10 bucks for six meals. Um, and then, you know, the, I, the green beans and peas and carrots, those weren't much either. So, yeah, yeah, good frugal stuff. I'll be doing more of this in the future. Not telling you how to cook and that it's the best, tastiest thing ever. Just showing you what I'm doing. And the thing with good, you good cooks out there, you know, people who have experience doing stuff like this and have already tried and made all the mistakes I'm going to be making, it can, it can, you know, inspire and spur ideas. Uh, you know, instead of using cheap Hunt's pasta sauce, for one thing, homemade, that's something I, I'd love to be able to make my own homemade tomato sauces. Yeah, man, that's, uh, but anyway, you know, personalizing it. Dishes like that you can personalize. Um, so yeah, all right, enough rambling about that. Uh, I do want to give a shout out to Anna's Homestead, eating in front of her computer just like I do. See, we got, us folks got to stick together. Uh, us, uh, us folks who sit in front of our computer with a YouTube video or something else going on, uh, keeping our attention while we're, you know, shoving food in our mouths so yeah thanks to Anders Homestead for uh, you know uh, encouraging me that I'm not alone when it comes to uh, plopping down a plate in front of the computer safe space um, and also I was just watching uh, Drew at Dutch Creek Cabin he just did a premiere of uh, he had some photography and some video of the stars uh, constellation and I thought it was, it was kind of funny that there was a spider web in his line of sight uh, about 30 feet up in the air. He got photobombed by a spider web. Oh, man. And that's true. That's one thing. I, I see him out here. Um, that ham radio tower. There's a huge, there was a huge old spider web up there the other day going probably... Uh, I'd say 20, 25 feet across to a tree. How are they? I don't know how these spiders. I'll go out in the middle of the night and there'll just be a spider web in the middle of my driveway. And it's like, how? Yeah, yeah. I'm appreciating spiders more as long as they stay outside. And I've got this big one in the peach tree I've been watching. Uh, that one's pretty cool. And it's actually a beneficial one. Anyway. <laughs> Enough about spiders. Uh, have a look at Anna's Homestead and Dutch Creek Cabin's video on uh, Cassiopeia Constellation. And thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm loving my kitchen. I'm loving that dishwasher, and I'll be talking about that. So stay tuned this month for stuff that's going to keep on happening. Thanks for watching, and take her easy.